bam, 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 bam. Today we're checking out Vesper Time by Bjork. Bjork. I don't know what to expect. I've heard Bjork is really, really weird. Yeah, we're going to like their most popular album, their most highly rated album, according to Album of the Year. I like to use that website a lot for uh, music. Let's just hop into it, you know what I'm saying? Let's just hop in. We got a hidden place. What that beat? Warm fist. Where's she from? What is her accent? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is her accent from? Iceland. Interesting. I like where this is going, though. I like where this is going. I ain't gonna lie. That's cool. This is insane. This be hard though. I think our first like first impression of her like accent and like the way she talks, I was like, what the f is this? Like it's like really I don't know. I think it's as I'm listening, it's growing me though. As I'm listening, I'm getting more used to it though. But definitely like I was like, what? What am I hearing right now? You know what I mean? Can I hide there too? This song is fantastic. This song is strange, bro. That was really weird though. I like that a lot. I love experimental music, bro. I love experimental sounds, experimental music, bro. That was really fun. That was a really fun song. Um, I like the way she worded that. Where did she say it? He meant to charm and makes him invisible. Hides in his hair. Can I hide there too? Hide in the hair of him. Like to seek solace in sanctuary. Like that's so weird. I, I don't know. The way she worded that is cool. Oh man, down to the down to the instrumental. This is very intriguing. I, I feel like this is a very good start. You know what I'm saying? Because now I'm like, now I'm really intrigued. Now I'm like, dang, I wonder what else is in this album. I hope it's similar. I hope it's really similar to this. I love. I love how like almost dark it sounded. Almost, almost like, almost like. Oh man, I don't. Even, I don't even know how to explain it, man. I'm, I'm just. This is great. This is so good. Next song, Cocoon. It's creepy. Sounds like TV, TV static or like vinyl crackle as the instrumental. Interesting. Beard. This beat, this instrumental is almost like comforting, but creepy. This is different. Definitely different. This is uncomfortable, like weirdly uncomfortable. Man, this is so weird. At first, I was like, at first, I was like, this is really comforting. This kind of, this kind of uncomfortable. This is kind of comfortable, you know what I mean? Or comforting, but like now it's like almost uncomfortable. I don't know. It's weird. Dude, the way she breathes is so weird to me, bro. It's so weird. Like she's like, she's the mic is right there. She's, like it's like, oh man, I don't know. It's like creep me out. So, so, so the instrumental. It sounds like some Minecraft shit, bro. Like comforting ass shit. That was different, bro. Yeah, what I got out of that was like really comforting instrumentals, uncomfortable vocals, and it had a weird clash. I feel, I feel like it had a weird clash that whole song, man. I don't know. It was uh, that one was definitely different. Next song is "It's Not Up to Me." Oh, what? It's not up to you. What am I saying? I don't know why I just read that way for. This sounds like some Apex Twin, Apex Twin type instrumental going on. Ooh. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Damn. This is really pretty. What is going on with the song right now, bro? This song feels so weird. I love it though. What the fuck is going on, bro? I like the hook a lot though. That hook is great. That was so strange. I like the hook a lot. The hook was great. Like the hook was so strong and pretty. But then once it got out of the hook, it just turned back to being like weird and like I don't know. It's so this is a strange album. This is a very strange listen, bro. I can't really find a flaw in that song. That song was pretty good. That song was really good actually. Undo. I love how soft the instrumental sound. This, I love, that's one thing too. I love how soft the sound. I just spent a lot of this one. Oh my god. This is fucking beautiful. Holy shit. Oh my god. Holy shit. That was unexpected, unexpectedly beautiful. Like, so beautiful. Holy shit. This has to be one of the most unique sounding albums I've ever heard in my life. Like, this is like, really weird and really good. That, that instrumental sounded like some Minecraft shit, bro. Which is like, even better. Cause like, I love how soft, I love how soft it sounded. How, how soft and comforting it sounded. And the second half was, was so grand, so beautiful. That was, that was so good, bro. That was so good. Next song is Pagan. Poetry? Yeah. Ooh. Dude, it mixes, dude, like, it like mixes beautiful, very bling, 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 but then it has like a background, doom, doom. Like, it's like, it's like a mix of like dark and, bro, it's so good, bro. I love this shit. I love this shit, bro. Love this shit, bro. Like the mix of like harsh and beautiful. Like I just love that shit, bro. Oh my god. It sounds like a factory in the background. Like that, like, down, 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 down. I love that, like, creeping bass. Doom, doom, doom. I love that. Ooh. Switch up. I love him. I love him. This time. She loves him this time. This time. I want to keep me all to myself. I like that. I like the way she said that. There's a lot to unpack with that one. Um. I don't even know where to start with that. I like that instrumental the most. The instrumental, I, I love the instrumentals in all these songs, like, all the most, honestly. Bro, like, I love the mix between, like, the pretty, like, ding, 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 the plinky little, you know what I mean, the plinky little instrumentals, plus, like, that factory, like, you know what I'm saying, bro? That shit was great, bro. I love, like, the mixing of that, bro. I love the, the mixture of that, bro. It definitely feels like she's battling herself. She's, like, fighting herself. She's, like, in her own head, like, oh, oh my god, oh. like, she's, like, like, you know what I mean? Like, she loves him. I'm gonna give him myself. But he makes me want to hand myself over. Like she's like fighting himself, her fighting herself, bro. I don't really understand what pagan poetry means. 
and his pagan poetry, swirling black lilies totally ripe. And then I love him at the end. I, then she's like fighting herself at the end. But like, I don't know, a lot of the words, she, a lot of the things she's saying here doesn't really make sense to me. He offers a handshake, crooked five fingers, they form a pattern, yet to be matched. Maybe it's like hard, because like, because his, his hand is so weird. Maybe, not like literally, but like, maybe he like reaches his hand out, but she doesn't know how to like, give back because he, he's so different he's so weird i don't know that, that was, that's weird the way he worked she worded that i like the way she worded that though that was uh that was cool though i like that one a lot next song is barosti instrumental instrumental track this sounds like some fnaf type beat i like that one oh transition though okay i like that i like that yeah that's that's, that's sounds like a bit of a uh palette cleanser if you will that sounds like a bit of a pal palette cleanser very very cutesy very little very pretty but also very messy instrumental you know what i'm saying that's how that's what i got out of that aurora is gonna turn crazy like from pretty to crazy or something oh It's getting a little weirder now. It's getting a little weirder. I wish the melon to you. I like that. Spark the sun off. Huh. That might be my least favorite. Like, that might have been my least favorite, respectfully. Still good, though. Um, I like the beginning. The beginning sounded like one of them, bro, what are, them th what are, the, what are those things called where you, like, wind up the doll? You wind up this, like, doll, and it's, like, this little box, and then, like, the, the thing starts dancing in a circle, and it starts playing this little twinkly little tune. Like, that sound, I like that sound a lot. It sounded like a, like, kind of like a childlike melody. You know what I mean? I like that a lot. I like that beginning part. It didn't cut out into, like, more ex experimental-ish elements. I don't know. This one's a mix, this one's a mix bag for me. Mix bag. An echo, a stain. This is like a Benadryl type beat, Benadryl demon type beat. This is a very weird mix of like pretty, like pretty vocals, but very weird and intricate, like uh, very weird instrumentals. It's a weird mixture. I, I, I'm really into it though. I'm really into it. It's just definitely, it's definitely like not what I was expecting at all though. Echo, sorry. Definitely the weirdest song yet. Um, I like it though. Definitely, definitely the weirdest song yet. It's so hard to interpret these songs, bro. It's so hard to interpret these songs, but I don't really know what she means half the time. Following the trend of just like weird, you know what I mean? Following the trend of just like weird, soft and pretty vocals with like weird instrumentals. I feel like it's toned down. I feel like I feel like since like track seven, it's like toned down a lot. Like it's seven, it hasn't really been like too crazy anymore. It's more just like weird. Uh, sun in my mouth. Sun in my mouth. Sun in my mouth. What is she saying? Like, this is what I mean. I don't know what she means. Will I complete the mystery of my flesh? Yeah, is it because she doesn't like fully know herself? Maybe she hasn't learned herself? Is that what she means by that? That song's cool though, I like that one. That's probably, that's probably one of my favorite ones. I don't know, that one's really cool. For how quick it was, that was a very quick song. Track 10, Heirloom. Ooh. I like this one. See, this is ADHD music right here, ADHD music. This one's gonna be weird, this one's gonna be creepy, I feel like. Ooh. 
Oh. Nah, fuck with this one. What is she saying right now, bro? Dude, this is great. Yeah, this one's my favorite instrumental yet. My favorite instrumental. This is a strange dream. I like it though. This song's cool. So these are these are the instrumentals I like the most from Bjork. I I, I don't know. Like it's the symbolism is hard to read with this song. I feel like. The instrumental is the best on the album though. I like this instrumental the most. Next to um Hidden Place. Those are, those are my two favorite like instrumentals in the entire song. They're the art of the entire album. Um yeah. Uh Reoccurring Dream, your mother and son pour warm glowing oil into your throat. And it makes you feel better. Like what am I supposed to get out of that? What am I supposed, what am I supposed to get out of that? You know what I'm saying? It's so strange that I just have no idea what that means at all. Um, Song-wise, though, it's great. I like how it sounds loud. Like the instrumental a lot. Very simple, but weird instrumental. It's very just simple. Very just weird. Very subtle. Next song is "Harm of Will." What? Long, long, long legs. Like, what? <laughs> then leave her coyly placed crouch sucking him, for it is I, with uh, with her on me. Like, what am I reading right now? You know what I'm saying? It definitely, like, like I said before in the last couple songs, like, I definitely just don't know what that one means at all i don't know what that one means at all bro like i said bro i just don't really know what she's meaning bro sometimes like she placed her unclothed long-legged on top of the family tree then leave her coyly placed crouch sucking him for it is i with on her with her on knee i leave her without pit pith or feel and leave her be like i have no idea what to even make of that definitely more it's definitely more uh lyric space than like instrumental the instrumentals are definitely just kind of like in the background chilling unison long song long song seven minute song Stubborn me before you count three. Oh, she's talking about a family tree. I'll grow my own private branch of this tree. Hermit style. This one's good. I like a lot. I like how like up and down it is. Like it's like progression and like a lot of cool stuff going on. This is cool, man. This is really cool. This is a cool outro. This is a cool ending. This is a very cool ending. Ooh. This is fantastic, dude. Fucking beautiful, bro. What a beautiful ending. What a beautiful, great ending, right? That was great. Follow the song. Honestly, follow us. Um, yeah. What a perfect ending, bro. I think there's a little dead space, a little dead space, if I'm, if I'm nitpicking, a little dead space around like eight to 11. I toned down like hella around like eight to 11, I feel like. But this first half of the album was, poof, bangers, dude, bangers. Definitely not a perfect album. First listen, I feel like an eight out of 10, eight, a strong eight to 11, nine out of 10 for me on this album. Yeah, my favorite songs, Hidden Place 100%. Pagan Poetry is good. Um, I like Son of a Mouth, Heirloom, and Unison. Those are like my top five. Those are my top ones, I feel like. Yeah, I feel like it, I feel like first half was like very weird, very experimental, very crazy. And then 7 through 12 was very much like a switch up. It was very much like, okay, now she's like kind of calmed down. She's kind of 
You know what I mean? And then 12, she comes comes back into it a little bit. I don't know. That's, that's kind of what I got out of this album a little bit. That's what I got out of it. A lot of the things she said in this album were really weird. They kind of went over my head. I can tell I can tell a lot of them went over my head. Just a lot of weird symbolism I definitely wasn't getting. One of the songs she's talking about um, wanting oil poured. She had a dream where she was getting oil poured down her throat that made her feel better glowing oil or something like that is just like so strange but i mean a sound wise the sound of the songs like you know i mean the, the actual songs themselves fantastic dude i love i love uh i love how like dark and like experimental a lot of these songs sounded like a very a very weird a very experimental pop album from miss bjork here that's about it honestly out of my first lesson here um i'm glad i checked out bjork you know what i'm saying definitely gonna check out more bjork like i said in the uh, future but yeah drop some recommendations below in the comments of what albums i should check out next and uh yeah that's about it skr skr pop 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 pop